I'm looking for the stem of the grape here and then I just nip it like that. Elderberries, apples, plums, and grapes, these are just a few of the 1.5 million pounds of fruit growing here in the city of Toronto each and every year. Unfortunately for many people, they don't have the time or ability to pick it themselves, but hey, we've got a peachy solution that will not only keep your home harvest from going to waste, but you'll also help those in need at the same time. Not far from the tree is Toronto's urban fruit picking project. We pick fruit in people's yards all across the city and we donate a portion of the harvest to organizations that feed other people. We are a membership based organization. So to sign up, if you have a fruit tree, it's $30 for the season. We use a one third model, which is really typical with gleaning organizations. We give one third to an organization that we partner with. One third split amongst our volunteers today and one third goes to the homeowner if they want to keep that portion. They show up with a very friendly team ready to work and, and pick the grapes uh, all throughout the yard. Do you make anything with them, like a jam or anything? Yeah, I've definitely made some jams. Uh, last week I made uh, Concord grape gimlets, actually, so like a, a cocktail. Gimlets? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the yeah. senior homeowners that benefit the most are the ones that really value their trees and their vines. So they want to maintain it, but they're just not able. It's nice for them to socialize with a different age group, and it doesn't leave their yard in a mess, and they can enjoy their backyard as well. The picking season wraps up in the fall with apples, pears, crab apples, and of course, grapes, but it truly is all weather dependent. So if you're looking to get a helping hand from Rachel and her team, literally visit their website at notfarfromthetree.org. Having a great time in downtown Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News. Mm.